Hey everybody, I am Cinnamon Cooney, your art sherpa. In five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to make dandelions in a rainbow color effect using Q-tips. That's right, cotton swabs. Now I'm gonna start out with a oval mop, which is a very soft brush, and I'm gonna paint the bottom of my canvas white. And I'm doing this so I can create a fish eye blended sky. I get my pink, you could use any color at the bottom, but I like pink, and I'm gonna start brush stroking those out. Notice that the strokes have a bit of a curve in them, almost like a smile. They don't have to be completely uniform or not streaky. When you change colors, be sure to rinse out thoroughly before you go into your blue. Otherwise, you'll just end up with purple. And come into where the areas are wet. So it's pink is wet and blue is wet. Go up and paint the top of the surface blue. Continue that curve stroke. You kind of want your sky to smile. We all need a smile right now, right? So make sure your sky is smiling. When you come back with a little more white and blue, you can blend that into the pink. Both areas are still wet and that's how the acrylic blends. If you need more tips, watch the first video in the series, dry your canvas, paint the bottom with your green. Now flick the brush up. When you flick the brush up, it makes kind of an uneven grassy texture. I'm gonna take green and yellow and I'm gonna do upward grass strokes. Again, if you're not familiar with that, check the first video to see how they're to do those. I'm gonna to continue to do these upward grass strokes. The beginning of the stroke is a fairly medium firm pressure. That's to make the blade wide because we're in honey, I shrunk the kid territory here, right? We wanna feel like we're in the grass. We're in the grass with the dandelions. So because of that, we'll make a bigger, heftier grass stroke. It's really nice to come through and do some of these grass strokes more green and some of them more yellow and thoroughly thick. like. You want to have a lot of grass in your grass. It's not balding grass. It's like thoroughly heavy grass. Coming back with yellow and white into that green mix to make a few sunlit blades, right? This is a dawn, and so there's a little bit of light coming down there. It's a really groovy painting, which is why I'm kind of getting into it, continuing to flick up. Now, this is a number 12 round. You can use any round that you like. I just think this is a really great one. It's in the description below if you want to see exactly which one it is. Um, I'm gonna come in and get some green. I'm gonna put in my stems. It's important to vary the stems and also continue the fisheye. So this first stem has a curve and a little button. It curves inward, and then its little friend kind of goes in an opposite curve, and then a taller one, a slightly shorter one, a shorter than the rest of them, and then curve back with a button at its top that we'll be putting in in a second. I'm gonna add a little highlight of yellow on each of the stems and come in with a button. Whenever I make a mistake, I can take a clean, damp brush. As long as the surface is dry underneath, I can kind of erase my paint, dry for the next stage. Come in with bunches of Q-tips bundled together in threes. I like to finger tighten them and have them slightly damp. I'm coming in with my pink and my red to make my first wished dandelion. That's where it's half blown. But the next one is a solid little dandelion fluff. So it's gonna be a circle. I'm gonna be doing my orange paint. I'll come in and create that sort of solid filling of the orange. And then I'm gonna to wanna to come back with a little yellow and highlight it on the right side just to give it some form and some variance because that's what makes art fun. I'm gonna mistakenly mix some green but then change my mind and get into some yellow. You definitely just go with the yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and make the full puff with the yellow nice and round. And then I'm gonna add white again to the right side, a little variance, a little personality. The next one is going to be green. I like to use green and yellow to kind of create a bright green. And then I will add a little bit of a highlight with white and yellow on the right side and a little bit of a shadow with the pure green on the left. This next one is blue. So you just go in with your phthalo blue. You'll notice that I change out my Q-tip swabs every time I change colors because I don't want them to intermix. I'm gonna to continue to make a nice puff of my blue you do the same, get some white on there, highlight that right side and move on to the purple, which is white and purple. We're gonna do another blown dandelion. That's the half circle that shows that that dandelion has been wished on. This is really a lot of fun. You can touch up at the end, look at anything, add more colors. I like to add a little highlight to the top of the button and a little bit of green to the bottom. Don't those look wonderful? Perfect for making a wish, something lovely to cheer up your week, even though this is a little fast, it won't take you that long to do. It's time to give it a signature, to be good to yourself and to be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon, tomorrow, in fact, for the next five minute lesson. Bye-bye.